Hello YouTube. What I'm going to show you today is a Cromwell. Now you may well be asking what's a Cromwell, as I did when I bought this guitar. Uh, a little bit of research because there's very, very little about them out there, even on the internet. Turns out, um, after looking the guitar over, I found a small sticker inside the body. The guitar's obviously got some age, and the sticker says, Made by Gibson, Kalamazoo. So, of course, you find any, any guitar like that, and your, your interest gets piqued. Um, after calling Gibson, turns out it's a 1938, they think, G6 model. Um, so, I'll come back a bit, see if I get the whole guitar in. So, yeah, 1936. Uh, sorry, 1938 G6 Cromwell. So where do we start? There is a headstock. Um, what happened with these allegedly was uh, there was a bit of a recession going on in America uh, in the 30s and Gibson agreed for a very small time to make um, guitars for maybe large department stores or for small independent dealers who would put on an order and they would put their own name on them. So it is a Gibson. It's made in Gibson, uh, Kalamazoo, USA. The only thing that's different is the headstock name, which is very cool, something I never knew. Um, so yeah, they made relatively small amounts. Um, I've seen receipts after doing a, a lot of homework. Um, apparently about six came into the USA, I'm sure a few more sneaked in from somewhere. How many still exist in the, um, in, sorry, the UK, I should have said. Um, how many still exist over here in the UK, I don't know. How many exist worldwide? Um, considering it's nearly 80 years old, who knows? Um, I'm sure a lot of people didn't know what they were and have just rent me, it's an old guitar and maybe binned it. So, very, very rare. 1938 Cromwell G6. So, we'll start down here, um, go down the neck. Um... Yeah, double inlays with a stripe up the middle, which is a lovely, lovely touch and not an, exp not a, an inexpensive thing to do. Um, yeah, all the way down. So double inlays with a stripe. I don't know if it's herringbone or I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, if I do this, you still see a, even for an 80 year old guitar, very, very, very straight neck. Very straight. Uh, so we come down at the main body. Two F holes. Nice tail piece. Still what very much looks like the original bridge on it. Um, in fact, as far as I can make out the whole guitar's original, you'll see that on the with the tuners on the back. In here, which you're really probably not going to see, is the... Oh, you can get a little glimpse of it there. Is the small sticker that says uh, made by Gibson Kalamazoo Factory. Um, so lovely piece of wood um standard thick jazz type body obviously it doesn't sound like a, a g200 j185 anything like that because it doesn't have the the full sound hole it has the two f holes it's not what it was designed for it's designed for something completely different um sounds lovely though for its age on the back this is what i love for something that's nearly 80 years old look at the flame on that a one piece back um probably just a pressed back absolutely beautiful flame on it and that really appears to be the only bit of wear on the back but from here just absolutely stunning piece of wood the neck strange neck not strange just different down the bottom end definitely maybe a d a d profile um but as with a lot of jazz and it stops up here um, you see a little bit of wear here, but definitely turns into more of a V profile here. Um, small bit of wear on it, which you would expect for something of that age. No brakes, anything like that. Um, or certainly what I can see does not look like there's been any repair on it whatsoever, so it's survived very, very well. Um, go up here. Original tuners. I'm saying original. I've seen pictures of some G6s and they look identical so we would I would stick my neck out and say that they were the original tuners. Um, 2170 
was the serial number that I, I passed on to Gibson. They passed me on to somebody else who helped me out dating it as Gibson really don't have anything. Um, information about this. Another small stamp up here. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm, I'm very happy I own it. Um, even, even just now, if we come in here, the action on it for something of that age is all the way up the neck. Absolutely fantastic. You would expect a bit of a bow or, um, you know, a little bit of intonation out. There's absolutely nothing. It's, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So there you have it. Um, not much more I can say. I've never seen another one in the flesh. If I hadn't seen the small sticker inside, I would have never known what it was. But it is a Gibson... Ooh, got to focus. Sorry about that. It is a Gibson... Cromwell G6 from 1938 so if you ever a, a boot sale or a garage sale or anything and you see something that looks as, as if it's got a bit of age just because it doesn't say Gibson doesn't mean it um, have a look and there we go hope you enjoyed that thank you